Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book slash movie haul because I'm going to throw a movie in here. Um, also, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about what I'm reading, what I'm planning to read, uh, that kind of thing. Not what I've read because you guys know what I've read because I will have reviewed it on the channel. Um, today, uh, I do have the one movie I am ramping up for um, happy, happy e holidays. Uh, you guys know how I love stupid puns uh, or wordplay. Uh, and I'm going to be doing 25 days of Christmas slash winter horror uh, from the 1st of December to the 25th. And then I will likely take, finally take a break um, from the daily videos until the first of the year. And then we will start again. I'm not sure if it'll be daily videos or not, but I finally focused on a routine that I enjoy um, that keeps me from burning out. And that's uh, one day on, three days off. I spend one day, I shoot four videos in that day. And then the next three days I read and write and hang out with the family and that kind of thing. It's really worked so far as you guys have seen. We are on seven weeks of daily videos and it's the longest streak I've ever Ever had. Um, that is the only reason I'm kind of iffy about whether or not I actually want to take uh, that week uh, before the new year um, off. But uh, if you guys are enjoying the daily videos, please let me know down there in the doobly-doo because one of the things that has happened with these daily videos is I'm getting less interaction. I'm getting more money, uh, more subs and all that, but I'm getting less interaction from you guys. And the whole reason I do this channel is to interact with you. But let's jump into the book haul. Um, so, or the, the haul, I should say, because I have a movie. Um, this is one of my favorite Christmas horror movies, uh, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to finally get a physical copy because I don't think it's available on streaming like Netflix. You know, I don't want to call it free streaming, but Netflix, uh, Hulu, that kind of thing. Um, it is uh, it is available to rent on like Amazon Prime and everywhere else. But yeah, uh, Krampus. I absolutely love this movie. Um, I, I thought it was a blast from beginning to end, and the creature designs are amazing. I really loved the uh, direct. Uh, film Trick or Treat. That's another one I still haven't added to the collection, but I will. But I thought this was a lot of fun. I watched it shortly after I read Brahms' book, Krampus, uh, which I will be reviewing. I'm not sure if I've reviewed it already, but uh, if I have not, then I will be reviewing on the cha channel for Happy Holidays. Uh, but uh, th this one, it, the character designs and everything are, are fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think of something that I haven't already said, uh, but it's it, it's one of those movies that gives me a good sense of uh, nostalgia for the holidays, um, and also it has some pretty terrifying stuff in it. I feel I know uh, the the reviews were mixed, especially because of the ending. Um, I like the ending. I like the theatrical ending, and I like the deleted scenes endings. Uh, next up. I have two books that I received for review and then one that I bought myself. The first one that I bought myself is Creep by Lou Yardley. Um, I contacted Lou on Twitter and asked her, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen you, uh, and I come to find out Lou's, Lou's a fan of the channel. Um, I was like, yeah, I'd really like to check out your work. And this is before I knew that uh, she was a fan of the channel. But I'd, I'd really like to check out your work because you're always interacting with me on Twitter. Um, and she said, well, here, here's a couple things that I have a novella called Creep. And I was like, that one sounds like the winner. So I'm going to be reading this uh, this month before December. So keep an eye out for that one. Next up are books that I got for review. These are, well, review copies, of course. But I got uh, The Stop. Very, very basic cover. That's a, a hoodie, if you can't see. The Stop by uh, W. Dale Jordan. Um, I believe we follow each other on Twitter. Uh, she asked if uh, there was anybody who wanted to... I, I ask for review requests. I'm permanently closed to review requests. So don't message me. I go out looking for books that I think I will enjoy. And uh, Jordan uh, said that uh, they were looking for uh, reviewers. And it's a novella. Uh, very, very short. Um, let's see here. But uh, it's, let's see, 93, 93 pages. Um, I, I'll go ahead and read the description on this one. Uh, what would you do to protect what's yours? Donnie's whole world changed the day he met Nate at the stop. 
Sorry, it's the stop. Did I say the shop? I can't remember. A cruising spot outside a small Texas town. Nate saw him, knew him, cared for him, and then one day, in an incomprehensible act of violence, Nate was taken from him. Broken but not beaten, Donnie steps into Nate's role at the stop with one goal in mind. Find a man who murdered his lover and see justice served no matter the cost. I, I like stories like that. I think I knew about the, the, the gist of the story, and that's why I wanted to grab it anyways. That's why I'm reading the, uh, the synopsis for this one. But next up, we have yet another book. Turner Publishing has been absolutely fantastic uh, to me, and we will talk about one of the books. Uh, I've already unhauled it, but we'll talk about that one because I'm starting it next. They have been absolutely fantastic to me. Uh, lately, they're sending me all of their new stuff, and I'm hyped for all all of it. Spontaneous Human Combustion from uh, Richard Thomas is my favorite collection of the year, uh, and I'm hyped for, well, 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 we'll get to that later, but they sent me this one because I requested it. I saw it on their Instagram, and the cover just knocked my socks off. This is The Temps, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read the description because that's another reason why I requested it. So, Jacob Elliott doesn't want a temporary job in the mailroom of Delphi Enterpri Enterprises, but after two post-college years of unpaid internships and living in his parents' basement, he needs work. Then, on his first day, the unthinkable haps happens. Toxic gas descends on a, on a meeting in Delphi's outdoor amphitheater, kill, killing all the regular employees and leaving Jacob stranded inside the vast office complex. Wandering through Delphi headquarters, Jacob finds other survivors. Lauren, the disillusioned classics major who's now writing online personality quizzes. Uh, Swati, the fitness instructor trying to escape a toxic relationship. And Dominic, the business school student who will do almost anything to get ahead. Stranded in the wreckage of the company that employed them, the temps band together to create a miniature world that's part spring break, part office club. Culture. That said, that sold me. Um, until a shocking discovery disrupts the survivor's self-made paradise and drives them to uncover the truth about the mysterious corporation that employed them and the apocalypse that brought their world to an end. But I mean, that cover. Look at how how it pops. That's gorgeous, man. The the colorful uh, people in uh, gas masks. The the font. Everything about this this cover draws me in. So so kudos to whoever did the design. Let me actually look that up because yeah, um, jacket design by Lauren Peters Collier. C-O-L-L-A-E-R. So, fantastic work on that. And now we're going to talk about what, I, what I'm reading uh, and what I plan to read. Matthew Lyons, which uh, I, I read uh, the night will... I, I can never remember the name of his book, but his new one's called A Black and Endless Sky. Turner Publishing sent me that one for a review, and I'm going to be starting it tonight. Um, I'm shooting this video on Friday. The video should go up on Sunday. I'm trying to do uh, Sunday wrap-ups and book hauls every single week, um, but uh, I, I'm excited for that one because I loved his last one. It was one of my favorite books of last year, um, so I'm excited to start that one. I am still working on Haley Piper's uh, Unfortunate Elements of My Anatomy. Uh, that review should be up some time before December. Uh, another thing is I need your guys' help on what to read for, for next month. I only have a few spots open for, for shorter books. Um, I've read The Terror. I've read Planning to read uh, Bracken McLeod Stranded, but I've read uh, Krampus by Brom. I've read, uh, let's see here, uh, Bone White by Ronald Malfi. I I'm sure you guys will mention books that I've already read, but if you want to go ahead and leave comments down there in the doobly-doo um, about what you would like me to read, especially if it's short Christmas horror or novella-length um, Christmas horror, and it doesn't really even have to be Christmas, it can be winter-themed, as long as the entire book is based in a cold environment. And don't say The Shining. I've read The Shining a billion times. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys will help me out with that, I appreciate you. Um, I'm also listening to the third Happ and Leonard book uh, by Joe Lansdale. That one is The Two Bear Mambo, and I should have that review up sometime this week. But that's everything. That's a weekly wrap-up. That's a book haul, one movie, all that good stuff. If you guys want to list down there uh, your own book hauls, please don't link me to your own videos because um, I have 
Uh, because of spam, I've, I have uh, links, uh, hyperlinks blocked on the channel. So, but if you want to hit me up on Twitter, links down there in the doobly doo. If you want to hit me up there, uh, he head on over to Twitter uh, and link me to your lists there or on Instagram. But I don't think Instagram lets you post links either. If they do, they don't show up as links. It's just a, you know, just just a text. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you want to type out what, what you got, um, what you're looking forward to, what you're reading, all that good stuff down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book haul and everything else. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.